All right, good morning, fishing fan. Wednesday morning. Cold morning. It's like four o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, I don't know, is it full moon or if the sun comes up early or something? It's still a little cloudy sky. Freezing cold. See, I'm fucking up. Today I'm going out there uh, looking for some uh, giant trout, trout fishing. See, I don't see any, uh, find any giant big trout. Uh, on my way up to Lake Davao, California. Uh, my last video I post out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, it's short. And uh, again, I'm just lucky I caught one. Nice one, it's close to 10, but uh, it's not quite 10. But really close. I pound so. But anyway, I'm gonna try again today and uh, when I came back, I'm gonna post the video and show you guys uh, what kind of trout fishing technique I'm using. What kind of bait, what kind of lure. All right, stay tuned. Not that big, probably like two pounds. <coughs> Beautiful fish though. All right, we do some uh, stripe up fishing this morning. Stay tuned. All right, I got one fish on. Small little guy, it's not that big. Okay, here we go. Fish on. Going crazy.
All right, uh, fishing fan. Just get back from fishing. Today, the weather is pretty bad. I should uh, catch some uh, striped bass boiling and uh, cut a couple couple of trout. It's, it's okay, you know, it's not that big. Uh, it's kind of choppy out there. So, you know, the trout is kind of scared of wind, I guess, so, but uh, it's only half day fishing. So uh, today, the, the video I'm talking about how my personal setup and personal, my personal technique to catch a striper boiling or the trout fishing technique, okay? All right, here we go. First of all, we talk about the, the striper fishing. Get this out of there. All right, so I like to use the Daiwa big catching stuff. Uh, this one to put it well. Uh, I most my my big catching reels are Daiwa. I have like 21 of them. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So uh, this is really good. And then the fishing line is a cigar, you know, cigar fishing line. I always tell people, don't try to buy the cheap stuff, you know. This, this fishing line or in my wheel, I swear to God, I, I, I fishing three, four times a week. Been there for two years. I still cause a lot of big striper without the breaking, okay. So really strong, only 12 pound test, that's all you need, you know, because you, you know, you use a little, Lay, lay, lay low stuff, and also the the low are using a couple low are like I using. I mentioned the last video. That's the little guy right here. It's fruit. Okay, the silver and gray color with the water so clear. I like to use this color. I, the way you use it and nice. I put a little special right there, tiny one. Sometimes I don't even use it, but uh, I like to use that. If it's a deep water, I like to use it. If I'm missing the top, I let it sink in to the little bit deeper, faster. Seems like the farther the, the fish come up to the top and then after this, they're done for the boiling and they go down deep. So, which means that the way carrying my lure follow the fish, you know, at the same time. So they might grab the last bay. That's this guy right there. So sometimes I don't even use it, okay? So, and, and other than that, another killer lure right there. When you see a boiling, really, really good boiling stuff. This is my, uh, my jerk bait right there with a little wet head like that. This number one killer too. And also I like to use the, this guy right here. A lot of time you guys buy this lure, it doesn't have that, this is the hook, I, I modified it. You know, the regular hook like that. But I always, you know, see that, it's a strange cut that comes out. I modify with a little feather, feather hook. It, it, it worked really well, you know, so this lure look how, how many team I probably call at least about 30 strikes out of this. You know, but um, other than that, so pretty much simple, you know, and that's my technique. I caught a lot of big striver, you know, and stuff. But okay, now we talk about the trout fishing. Simple. The smarto, simple, smarto wheel, simple. Again, I use a sugar, six pound test, six pound. Don't use more than six pounds. My body like I use a four pound, but I don't like gamble in there. Six pound test, okay? Sugar. A lot of people set up at a trout fishing and I set up. I show you the way I'm set it up. You see this? A lot of people use the, the slicing, squirrel stuff, and then the, the whatever, 18 inches, 20 inches, uh, liter stuff. That's good, but 
if you want to cast out there, it'll be farther out. The water is deeper, so you have to take it out. I put a different leader in there. Too much work for me. My technique I've been fishing for trout for the last 40 years. Same thing. Spit shot. Tiny hook. Offside hook. Like this. Okay. When I go shallow, I pull the spit shot like that. Short leader. Okay. Especially early in the morning, the fish hang out really shallow. So I want to make a little really short, right? All I got to do is just slide that little bad boy right there. That's it. Simple. If I go to the deep water when I mirror the day, I pull out maybe 22 inch. You know, maybe 20 inch. Just keep moving this guy right here, this fish out. You see this? Simple. And I, I call a lot of big trout too. So, and then the other hand, the spit shots with lightweight. It help a lot of time when you're fishing the a lake. The boats pass by and at the way, moving. It's like moving a little bit. A lot of time, 80%. The boat pass by with the trout there. They were gonna bite because this thing moving, okay? But the bait is moving. So you don't need to be the heavy singer, seeing an angle in the bottom, and then the bait stay there the whole time, wait for the trout to go by and look at Anything moving, the fish, when they feed, they see moving, they will grab it, I guarantee you. And try that technique. Again, this is my personal technique. So try it out and see how it works. And give me a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate that uh, all these fishing fan out there give me a uh, subscribe and uh, please continue to do so. And I really appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel. I continue to post out every week. And uh, especially on Lake Dava, I do a lot of fishing report. I mentioned it early. Uh, I go out there three, four times. It's a week fishing. If I see anything, change it. With the trout biting good or the striper bower biting good, the big striper starting biting, I will post the video and let you guys know. Alright. See you next video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.